title, The Tailor's Needle, by Wisdom Chronicles. In a quaint medieval village, where cobblestone streets wound like streams through rows of thatched roof cottages, there lived a young tailor named Elian. The village, nestled under the watchful eye of an ancient castle, buzzed with the daily chorus of market sellers, the clatter of knights on horseback, and the melodies of wandering minstrels. One crisp autumn afternoon, as Elian stitched a vibrant tapestry in his small sunlit workshop, his wise grandmother Mabel entered. Her eyes, as deep and knowing as ancient wells, fixed upon him. Elian, she began, her voice as soft as the wool she spun. What is the worth of a single stitch? Puzzled, Elian looked up, his needle paused mid-air. A stitch, grandmother. It is but a small part of a greater whole. Mabel smiled and left, her words hanging in the air like a riddle. The next day, a burly farmer came to Elian's shop. His cloak was torn, and he asked for a quick mend. Elian, recalling his grandmother's question, took care to make each stitch precise and strong. When he finished, the farmer grumbled at the cost, tossing a few coins onto the counter before leaving. Disheartened, Elian wondered about the value of his careful work. As days passed, a noblewoman visited Elian. She needed her elegant gown adjusted for an upcoming feast. Elian worked meticulously, ensuring each stitch was perfect. When he presented the gown, the noblewoman beamed with delight, praising his skill and paying him handsomely. Elian's spirits lifted. Perhaps his stitches held more value than he thought. The village's grand autumn festival was approaching, and the local monastery requested a new banner. Elian worked day and night, pouring his heart into the intricate design. The banner, when hung in the bustling market square, drew gasps of awe from the villagers. Under the Gothic arches of the monastery, the monks blessed Elian, proclaiming his work a masterpiece. That evening, as the village glowed with lanterns and the air filled with laughter and music, Mabel found Elian. She pointed to the banner swaying gently above the merry crowd. You see, Elian, she said, her eyes reflecting the flickering lights. The worth of a single stitch depends not only on the skill of the hand that makes it, but on the heart that weaves the intent and the eyes that perceive its beauty. Elian looked at the banner, then at the diverse tapestry of villages, the burly farmer, the noblewoman, the monks, each seeing a different value in his stitches. You mean my work can mean different things to different people? Elian asked. Yes, my child. And just like your stitches, your life too will have different value to different people. Some will overlook the care you put into your days, while others will see the beauty in even your simplest deeds. Elian's heart swelled with understanding. His grandmother's wisdom, like a guiding star, illuminated his thoughts. He realized that the worth of his work and his life couldn't be measured in coins or praises alone but in the joy and purpose each stitch brought to his heart and to the hearts of those who truly saw its worth. From that day, Elian stitched not just with his hands, but with a newfound reverence for his craft. He understood that the value of his life, like his stitches, lay in the richness of its weave and the eyes of those who appreciated it. And so, under the autumn sky of that medieval village, a young tailor, learned the timeless lesson of worth and value, a lesson sewn into the very fabric of life itself.